Hey everyone, okay, so this is the Jaclyn Hill Ride or Die tag, and this is gonna be very, very difficult. So let's make a start. Liquid foundation. I've got so many, I don't know what to do. So it's gonna be Ellis Fast. Is, if I could only take one, it would be Ellis Fast. Medium to full coverage, dewy finish. Lovely. Liquid concealer would be the Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher. I love the Retoucher. It's fucking great. So that's one to keep. If we're talking of cream foundations, then it would be the RCMA Cream Foundations. This is a palette, and some misery was like, uh, on a comment in my video the other day, was like, I can't believe you're showing that. No one wants a whole palette. Well, I did mention that they're available in singles. You might want to have a little listen to my videos next time you're kicking off. Okay, pressed powder. Pressed powder is, I'm afraid, Charlotte Tilbury's Air Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Really, really, really good. And what I use for the buffing technique. Now, under eye setting powder, where are you, Prince? There you are, is um, Yves Saint Laurent, and this is 15 grams, and it's the pink powder. So that's what I use for under eye setting. Loose powder, RCMA no color powder. No question about it, that's what I like. Okay, what's next? Bronzer. I'm, I know people are gonna be like, but I love the Tom Ford bronzer, so it would be the Tom Ford bronzer. Three shades available, I just think it's lovely. I think people use way too dark a bronzer, um, but that's just my personal opinion, don't hate. That's what I really like. Oh, what's next? Blusher. Blusher. Where is it? Hang on, hang on. I haven't got any trousers on. That's why I stood up like that. Just got a top on. Would be NARS Exhibit A. Every skin tone, no matter... Oh my God, there's that fly. Go on, I wish you well. Leave. Leave this place. Don't make me kill you. NARS Exhibit A. It's beautiful, it's red, it's in my little clutch. Just love it, it's really, really beautiful. Um, highlighter would be, uh, come to me my precious prince. Oh, come on. Would be Jane Iredell, and this is their 24 karat gold, comes in various shades, loose powder, Oh, I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Contouring. Oh, I should have got these all ready, but I didn't, so it's just a bit of, bit of tough titties, isn't it? Contouring powder would be Rodile. Rodile contouring powder is absolutely beautiful. It really was a toss-up between that or the Kevin Acquire one, but I think the Rodile one is truly, truly stunning. Favourite eyeshadow palette. Now, this is the toughest one, but I'm gonna pick Tom Ford Coco Mirage. It's really a toss up between that or Dolce Vita by Charlotte Tilbury, but this is a winner. It'll just see you through. It's brown, it's perfect. What's next? Hmm. Skincare. Favourite prep for skincare. This is by Kiehl's, it is the Creme de Crops, creme de crops, creme de crops. It's the body one, and I use this for the face because it's massive and it lasts forever. Now, if you're talking about a primer, I'm re it was really a hard toss up, but I'm gonna pick the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer because it's brilliant and it makes your pores look really, really small. Get in there. Oh, I keep moving back and forth, I'm so sorry. So, shimmer, as in all over glow, I'm actually gonna pick the Cover FX Custom Drop Enhancers. I think these are bloody brilliant. So this is that I would apply before foundation or after. This is great. We're jumping around. Favorite waterproof foundation, Makeup at Today Paris waterproof foundation. It stays put. You're gonna have sex in it. It ain't going nowhere. Favorite lip liner. Oh, I know you're here. Come to me. Uh, Kevin Aqua Medium. Favorite lip liner of all time, Medium by Kevin Oqua. It's amazing. Favorite black coal pencil is MAC Feline. But I've got like a thousand different ones, but I really like Feline. I think it's great, I can't find it. It's really, really good. 
favorite brow product in terms of fibery kind of colors would be the Charlotte Tilbury one because it's amazing. So I love that. I think it's really, really great. But favorite brow product of all time is actually by Dior. This is the pencil and it is the Dior Brow Styler and it's great. This product is for brows, but you can use it on your face. It's by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is the Pro Pencil Eyeshadow Primer and Color Corrector. Underneath the brow, over the brow, uh, by your lips, clean it up, it's amazing. Favorite cream concealer. I know we're jumping around, but it's by Krylon and it's the Derma Color. Now this is a palette, you can get them all singles. It's basically Laura Mercy Secret Camouflage, but that costs fuck all compared, and it's just great. Okay, favorite setting product is the Makeup Finishing Spray by Skindinavia. I love this stuff, I use it every single time. Favorite non-setting product that kind of sets the skin but doesn't just give the skin a glow is by Tatcha, and it is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This stuff is amazing and everybody raves about it and that's why it's basically glycerin and squalene. I think it's squalene, I think I've said that right. It just gives a really dewy look to the skin. Now, I have contacted the company because it's a real pain in the tits to buy here in the UK and I had to get mine from Amazon and it costs a staggering £75 because I needed this for a job. Do not buy it from there, that's disgusting. Do not buy it from there. I have contacted the company and asked them if they can give me a link. They haven't got back to me by the time I film this video. Maybe they will, let's hope so because I'll post it in the description bar. If you don't see it there, that's because they haven't got back to me. But I love this stuff. If you're watching, please send me 10 bottles. Thank you. Favorite lipstick of all time is this shade here, right there. You can't even see it, can you? And I would zoom in, but this camera's not working with, with the zoom. It's that one, that one. And that is Charlotte Tilbury's Bitch Perfect. I think that is the best lipstick ever. Now, when it gets in there, get in there. Now, when it comes to lip glosses, right, my favorite lip gloss of all time ever is Pink Gilt by Tom Ford. Now this is the most grown up color ever, ever. I love this so much. And quick tip, if you haven't seen my video, if you wanna know how a lipstick or a lip gloss is gonna look on your lips, place it there. Best color ever. Favorite mascara, now I know there's some controversy over this, but for me, it is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Mascara. Now, I know a lot of people said that it's smudging on them and it's creasing, you know, it's coming down their face. I don't notice that, but bear in mind, I spend a long time with somebody setting the eye area, and that's probably why I don't notice any issues with it, but I think it gives the most beautiful finish. And I tend to, especially on other people, use a um, lash lock by like Bare Minerals or Anastasia Beverly Hills, just to go over it to make it waterproof. I'm actually thinking now, like, what else have I got to do? Blusher. No, I've done blusher. What else is there? You're all gonna be saying we haven't done this, but I've totally forgotten. I've done bronzer, I've done highlighter, I've done lipstick, I've done lip pencil, I've done eye pencils, I've done mascara, I've done contour, I've done bronzer, I'm picking my nose, I've done loose, and pressed powder, done foundations, and cream foundations, and prep. I think that's it. This is like the longest video ever. We don't want any of that, do we? Now I'm gonna spend 20 minutes talking about the contents of my handbag. Okay, I'm not, I'm going now. This is the tag. Thank you, Jacqueline Hill, for including me in it. Here is the video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.